Welcome to another episode of the Kin Seed series, and I can see that Father has something to say. Uncle Bill, that is something that is going to take forever to get rid of, if ever. You will need a sickle to harvest wheat or cut through long grass. Our old sickle rusted, so we need a new one. Jeremy's iron in the village should be able to help. Okay. Oh, he still has something to say. You know, Quill's a lot bigger than just the veil. You might get to see some of it yourself one day, with any luck. Me and your Aunt Rose always planned on traveling, but we just couldn't afford to leave the farm that long. I'm thinking of buying a pig at auction this week. If I don't win, then at least I have fun pretending to know what I'm doing. <laughs> That's fair. That's kind of how I do it. Bye. Let's give Mr. Pot a carrot. Oh, a sleepy pig. I'm actually going to switch out the apple here for the carrot since we have so many. I need to get this cleared out. Maybe a little bake for when you wake up. We'll feed butterscotch. Oh, we gave her some uh, perks it looks like. Get some watering done. Uncle Bill seems very kind to you. I often think about our real parents. I can't remember them at all. We must have been given away when very young. Do you think they were too poor to feed us? Did they die fighting monsters? Were we bad children? We'll truly never know. I'm going to talk to the bees and see what I can trade with them. Yep, very fun. Good luck with that. Don't get stung. Alright, we better get going because I'm pretty- Oh, we don't have those fairy paths yet. Um, we're going to probably need to go into the mine to get the ore to then get the sickle, if I remember correctly. So we're going to want to get going with our very early bedtime. So very windy today. Alright, excuse me while I come in here. Hello. Introduce. Oh, I've heard all about you. News travels fast around here. About the only thing that does. I like to take things slowly, see? But if you need something made at my forge, I won't keep you waiting. And if there's anything you want from our shop, just ask Jeffrey. I hammer him, he hawks him. Well, hello there. Uh, all out of sickles, I'm afraid. I've also, I'm also afraid of going into the mine uh, to dig for ore, which is why we're out of sickles. I've heard some knocking, so I got straight out of there. But tell you what, here's the key to the mine. If you're brave enough to get your own ore, pop back into the smithy. I will show you how to make your own sickle. Goddesses go with you, because I surely am not. You'll find the mine behind our house, which is up to the left uh, from the smithy. You probably won't run into any knockers, but just... Uh, in case. It was nice knowing you. Alright, we've got the key. Alright, we're off then. Oh, do you have something else to say? Uh, well, drop an anvil on my toe. Here you are, alive and a pocket full of ore. You've learned a lesson in the noble art of smithing, that's for sure. Get a hold of the chain on that forge and we'll get started. I did not realize we had ore on us. <laughs> okay. Have a good one. up here. Let's begin your smithing apprenticeship. Start by selecting an ore and a mold. You only have tin ore and a sickle mold, but there are many more materials and molds out there to create anything from jewelry to swords. Okay, that mold, that ore. Correct. Melt the ore by holding and releasing the mouse button to blow the bellows. Okay. There we go. Okay. Lower the item to the forge and heat it by pressing the mouse button, and then press again to remove it. Aim for the green marker on the, the scale. Okay. What? Wow, that took forever to st Oh, because it's clicked twice, not hold and release. Dang it. Uh, press this to hammer the item into shape. Aim to totally cover the target. Increase your strength to earn more hits. Okay. Okay, cool. I like this, um, this stuff over here. I wonder if this is a failure. Pull the item by pressing this to lower into the water, then press again to remove it. Okay, it's too clicker this time. <laughs> Okay. 
Hold this and this to sharpen your item on the grindstone. Aim for the green. Okay. Oops. Ooh. This was hard. And new. I've never done this before. So we uh, lost our ability there while I was trying to figure it out. Great stuff. You could store more made items in different places to suit your needs or keep it for yourself. You made your first item in the blacksmith. I feel you can become really good at this in time. Maybe one day you might even own your own smithing business. A two star. Okay. Oh, what's Q do? Okay, interesting. Uh, I think I might try one more time to see if I can make something a little better. <laughs> Going much better. <laughs> I am nervous about the next stage though. Oops. Did I do it? Okay. Durability max. Yes! <laughs> That's much better than negative. <laughs> Alright. To the inventory. That was a three star. Ooh, so what's that feeling well here? Well done. You will make a fine smith. You are welcome to use the forge anytime, but you do need to provide the ore. I will pay you per item you make at the selling table. One day you might even make something as great as the hammer my father gave me as an heirloom. I don't use it, as it is so precious. Have a good one. Alright, let us see the selling table. Here? Yes, okay. Uh, so we have two here. You could sell the bad one. There we go. There's some gold. Someone here has something to say. Hello, Ned. Oh, hello. What's happening? I would love to sample your cooking. Do you think you could make me something? Sure. Thank you much, Lee. Don't know what uh, I need to cook for him. God, we have a lot of things around here. Hello. Old Jacob. Gosh, you hear that? The dead around these parts like to whisper to me. Jacob, they say. We're here and we're watching you. It's true. They're from ancient times when people got put in the ground when they died. And they're cursed, see, because they didn't believe in the goddesses. Worshipped a male god. Ha! You believe that? A male god. Hush. I think I hear them whispering again. Uh, goodbye, old Jacob. Hello, Ignatius. What is happening? Could you keep an eye out? I seem to have lost my pet powder. I was in Druida's cross when I noticed it was gone. Thanks. Sure. Uh, I will be going in that direction soon, so... I guess it uh, wouldn't hurt to do something for Warzel so it doesn't need us. Oh no, not you. Could you keep an eye out? I seem to have lost my Druida effigy. As in Druida's cross. Well, I guess I'll go find both those things. Be back. <laughs> Hello, Billy. Not nice to see you, thanks. Could you keep an eye out? I seem to have lost my radish. I was on Willowdown Farm when I know- What were you doing at my house? Oh my. They were together when they lost their things. <laughs> Alright, so that was an easy find for them. Let's head up to our farm and see what we can find there. Let's see, does father have something- The pig won't eat, which I find is odd. Oh, maybe somebody else is feeding it? Nicely done on that sickle, by the way. Kept me name to say. Very impressive work. Smithing is hard work, but can build your muscles for sure. I prefer the smells of the farm. Pig muck over pig iron, for sure. Should probably check calendar. Nothing going on. Um, let's see. How can we filter these? Notice board. Ah, miscellaneous. Yeah, I tried feeding the pig. I could try to water the trough, though. Grab in some water real quick. There you go. Here, I'll just feed truffle by hand. There you go. Yeah, he wasn't very full, so I don't know. Maybe he just won't eat off the ground anymore? I'd like to pick these up now. Wait for truffle to get away from it. Can't have the carrot in hand, apparently. <laughs> Let's go sickle. Hey, there's an old dog over here. 
Come back. Who are you and why are you on the farm? Hi, Rhubarb. There you go. With your little pet. Ooh, nice. Oh, I bet I know where that dropped item is. Probably by the river. It is not. I am surprised. Oh, a note. In the ponds of the Vale, Pond Licker flashes its floppy tail. Where in the world is this thing we're looking for? Whatever it is. <laughs> I've forgotten. I thought it was in Willow Down, was it not? Uh, yeah. We lost a radish on the farm. We found these two. Oh, on the burial grounds. We'll have to look for that too. Well, I guess I will head to bed. Since I'm not being successful. Eight brass to collect. Ooh. Hello, brother. Jesse. I see Uncle Bill looking sad sometimes. I think he's remembering Aunt Rose. Wish we'd gotten to know her, don't you? Yeah. Today is just an ordinary day, really. Just like any other. Have you been to the notice board in the village? It's just opposite the goods store. It's worth checking there to see if any of the villagers need some help. While you're down there, it's pig auction day. We can't afford a new pig, but why don't you nip down to the auction stall in Festival Green and get some experience by then. Last time I saw your Aunt Rose was on Summertide, so it's a very special day for me. In a way, it's a celebration of her too. I think we all know what happened to Aunt Rose. <laughs> right, let's grab this wheat on this fine foggy day. We might stop down there to see if there is uh, any seeds available. I still don't know where that uh, turnip would be. Man, I cannot find this light lost item on our farm, so I'm going to give up on it for now. Wow, I got a really nice dandelion there. <laughs> see if any of the people we need to return these items to are in here. Uh, they might actually be down at the festival green, so let's check that. The cuckoo do here. Oh, look at the little baby. <laughs> I didn't know the pigs could be babies. Sold for seven. I mean, we certainly could buy another pig, but we'll probably wait. We do need to read the notice board, though. So let's head up there and do that. Ooh, blood for you. Also, these are moving, which looks so nice. Uh, yep, there we go. Birthday present wanted. Hugs are fine, but some sort of gift won't go amiss. Urgently required by Willdown Farm by Uncle Bill. Oh. Uh, did I have the thing for you? Oh, introduce. Hey, another kid to play with. Here, pull my finger. Come on, pull it. I shall not. I need to buy a gift for a very special person. Me. Uh, goodbye. Let's buy this recipe. Because I will always want recipes. Oh, hello. Introduce. Well, you look healthy enough, I suppose. But you never know when you might suddenly find yourself with an acute surplus blood. Oh. Or an unforeseen miasmic condition. Just keep honoring Druida, and you shouldn't be needing my services much. People around here must not watch, uh, worship Druida very well because there's a lot of people who need these services. <laughs> ah, welcome, welcome. Another potential victim of the curses and ailments that simple folk often stumble headlong into. We are the best in the Vale. And the only ones in the Vale. Hello. Introduce. Well, you're one of those whippersnappers old Bill took in. Done a lot of business with Willow Down Farm over those years. Sickles, spades, and more spades. And various other irony things. If Jeremy can forge it, I can flog it. Well, hey ho and hi ho, silver lightning. It's away we go. <laughs> I can tell our friendship is at the start of a long and beautiful journey. That or a quick trip around the block, eh? Have you ever wanted to be a smith? I couldn't lift a hammer if I tried. I did try to lift a hammer once, but Jeremy shouted, Don't touch this! 
He's very protective. I like feeling safe and secure. I also like feeling other things, if you catch my meaning. Uh, I mean, fine fabrics, of course. Always fancied being a tailor. Pity there's no marable Mr. Tailors around here, eh? You'll have to speak to Jeremy for all your sickle-related inquiries. Best be careful in that mine. It's a health and safety nightmare, that place. Great. Well, like I said, if you provide the ore... Yeah. Okay. Oh, I thought maybe he had a quest or something, but it didn't seem like it. So, if we look at the calendar... Let's see... Oh, it's Uncle Bill's birthday! Okay. And the pig auction. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab a gift. Oh, we got... We better say hello to Ginger Nut. Not you, Edward. No, Edward. Oh, it's nice to have another youngin' around. Perhaps you can visit when you walk these parts. Don't get many visitors, what with our Hazel moving on after she got married. Your fellow ran off, and now she'd rather spend her time with cats than coming to see her old mom. Nice of you to try to get to know me, dear. Did you know they named me after a biscuit? Hop Crutch? I changed my, <laughs> I changed my name when I married a fellow called Wally Nut. He died, you know. Yes, he had an accident while fishing and got pulled into the lake. He got out soaking wet and died when he tried wrestling a nymph five days later. Oh. <laughs> Our Hazel loved him as a dad. She blamed me for his death and ran off with a wanderer called Hugh Jarsol. You always look like you're side eyeing there, uh, Ash. <laughs> look at the little puppy. It's cool seeing them have um, creatures as well. Uh, let's see. Let's grab these guys. Is there anything we could sell? Probably fish. I sold all of my palm markers or weed skimmers. Days go so fast as a child. <laughs> Hello, Uncle. Uh, gift. Here. A candied hair. Present for Bill. Ooh, nice. You remembered my birthday, thank you. Here's a secret for you. I heard Ed in a pot likes uh, sugar plum jam. I like it has the picture, but also the description, like the name of it. Ooh, a letter. Our friendship means a lot. I'm sending a gift. Ooh, some tomato. Thank you. Where is our tomato plant? Is it gone? No, they're here. Uh, so they're about ready. Okay. This is an odd fish. I don't know how to get it without making it run away. There we go. Ah, bond lurker. I was actually looking for weed skimmer to replace all the ones I sold. No fish in the river today, it would seem. I'm surprised they have a- so they have a campfire where you can rest here. But I'm surprised because you're so close to home, why would you sleep here? What have we got here? Kukudu can be found by tree stumps with blue flowers around. All of a sudden I can't get weed skimmer. <laughs> I'm feeling sleepy. I thought I'd try one more time to see if I could find- oh, the pig ate. Um, see if I could find anything. The, the turnip or whatever. But I'm not having any luck. Ooh, I love that it labels when it's dawn and morning and all of that. That'll make uh, finding things with certain traits at certain times much easier. Two brass. And it's goddess day. Ooh, look at all those. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. We got to try out blacksmithing and we half did some quests for some people. I didn't see them around to return the items to and god knows where the one on this map is because I still haven't been able to find it. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and until next time I hope you have a wonderful day.